What are the times of days on other planets in places? Like that time of day where you're just like, you know what I need to do? Leave my fucking window open in my mansion that gets broken into every other week. Welcome on those times of days as well. <laughs> this is from the Back Cave. I'm your host, Red Thunder Adam Gerada. Joining me this week are a man who loves, loves, loves to get pancakes after a boardroom meeting, the pro Matt Richards. Hi. The man who loves, loves, loves to hand somebody a knife when he grabs himself a gun, the dad not afraid to hurt. <laughs> I like it. And finally, the man who loves, loves, loves to turn to people who look exactly like him and be like, who am I? Hello, Kuna. Hello, Kuna. Wayne Campbell. How are you? And how are we all this week, gentlemen? We're all in different places around the world, I see. Obviously, we're still, uh, we're still going through... From the back, hey, worldwide, an attempt to eradicate sponge from our lives. As you can see, I'm currently here in uh, sunny Paris. And uh, where are you guys at the moment? Uh, I'm in a uh, underground bunker at the moment, um, just trying to keep a low profile in uh, Fallout style. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah Fallout style. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pretty uh, crazy at the moment. Pretty uh, pretty bad weather, so I've had to hunker down. So. Yeah, but it should be good. Should be. I'm uh, hoping the storm will pass in the next couple of days, so it should be all right. And wait, where are you at the moment? Well, hopefully, I'm on a beach. But you know, I could be in jail. I have no idea. <laughs> just know if he's on beach here in a jail, have you gone blind, or is this just like, uh, are you Stevie Wonder now? <laughs> <It must be. laughs> I just got sent to a secret location, and I got told. Even he doesn't know. It's so <laughs> secret. <laughs> Why he doesn't know where he is? Hello, cool wonder. <laughs> And, uh, and as we can see, Braden's still safe and sound there at Mo because even Sponge won't go to Mo. Yeah, no one wants to go to yeah. Mo. No, go to Mo, go to Mo because fuck, there's nothing else to give a show. <laughs> uh, I got nothing on that. <laughs> My songs don't give it up of a fuck about Mo. Uh, yeah, but anyway, we're here this week to talk uh, to talk Gotham. That's what this episode is about. That's why that title down on the bottom there says Gotham. Season 3, Episode 2, because that's what we're going to talk about. So let's throw over to LL Cool Elder and his recap. Good evening. Yo, what's up? This is LL Cool Elder here. I'm actually going to talk about Gotham, Episode 2, Burn the Witch. It's actually Burn the Film. It's not... It's not so good at the moment. So Bruce... Bruce Wayne is brought to the leader of the court. He, he recognises her from what? Who knows? Uh, so he's ordered to CC any investigations of, of them, plus the uh, murder of his um, parents, uh, as well as Indian Hill. So, which he does, you know, he obliges. Uh, Ivy's washed ashore, very, very older, and actually a lot better than what she was. And then she's taken to a house for shelter because she comes in thirsty. And this bloke just says, all right, come on, I'll take you to my place. So she's given clothes and a drink, which she pours onto her unhealthy plant. Uh, then when the man chucks the uh, plant away, she kills him uh, in a fit of rage. Crazy. So Fish, ca Fish Mooney catches Bullock and uses her powers to make him lead her, or lead the whole group to the secret facility holding Strange. Barnes, Gordon and the GCPD... Um, head to the facility and are followed by the press. So Penguin raises a mob and leads them to the facility. Sorry, I'm getting old here. <laughs> so Gordon makes a deal with Fish to help her escape, and then and which she hands over Bullock, but she keeps it strange. Uh, Gordon informs Penguin of her escape route and he prepares to kill her, but. There's always a but. When she reveals that she's let him live because he was her greatest creation, ooh, scary, he, he then lets her go. The mob breaks into the facility and kills some fish's monsters, which is, you know, better than what I would. Uh, I'll probably kill the whole show. Um, sorry. Um, so Valerie visits Gordon about his deal with fish and then they share a kiss. 
Bruce has re returned sacred to Wayne Manor to buy Talon, and the same night his doppelganger, Talon, breaks into his house. Meanwhile, Lee returns to Gotham to search for Jim. Not the best. Um, I would say that, you know, a monkey could have wrote it better. Um, you know, if you look over you know, my shoulder, you'll see some of the clips. I actually found it quite boring. But that's just me. Yeah, don't blame me there, Wayno. Uh, you weren't wrong. That was pretty shitty. Um, I, what, what, what? I remember the first five minutes. The first five minutes were pretty much what should have happened in the entire episode, which was Bruce talking to the Court of Owls chick, and then just like... Oh, wait a minute. I, I'm Captain Barnes, and I can't go into this building to save... Um, bullet, because I'm a cop. Damn it, if only there was somebody here who wasn't a cop. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I'm Jim. I'm, I can totally help you out. I'll, I'll help you get out of here, Fish, but in doing so, I'll just feed you straight to Penguin. Wait a minute, I'm Bullock, can you touch me? And now I'm confused. I'll take you to Hugo Strange. Oh, it's five seconds later, I'm fine. Oh, Hugo Strange, you're just in some glass cage. Great to see your wigs got even worse. Oh, crap, not this again. So, yeah, what do you guys got to say about this? Oh, uh, nothing good. This show was fucking horrendous. Um, I, I remember watching it and just every single time, like, Every single time something happened, I was just like, yeah. End of the show. Good show, guys. That was great. That was fucking horrible. It was just fucking horrible. Why they leave those fucking windows open? Why they always leave the same fucking four windows open? Hey, I'm going to call you out right now, Fred. I'm going to let you know what keeps happening. You put in a security system that fucking set up some sort of shitty alarm. Close the window, mate. Every fucking cunt is coming in through that window. It's either the window on that side or the, or the window on that side. This is, they're just popping through the same window. And every fucking day you're walking in and go, better close these bloody windows, Master it's, it's not even... You're letting the bloody hot air out. It's not like even it's like... Slightly ajar just to let the house breathe. It's like oh, it's fucking wide gay. open. The the fucking fucking gas billowing. Come on in. Wayne Manor, enter here. Yeah, we don't have anything expensive that you might want to steal. Run the fuck It's not like you can just go like, oh, money's not an issue, mate. Can you just secure our house? Yeah, that's the thing. I can't work out. They have. They seem to have cell phones, but they don't have security cameras. But they do, but they don't. And they've got a driveway that's, what, two mile long? Better question, how the fuck Thomas Wayne has a secret bunker behind his fireplace that he built, but the cunt didn't even think to put in, like, a tripwire? Or a fucking... What the fuck? Or a proximity sensor? What the legitimate fuck? I'm pretty sure they can afford it. One of those rent cops sitting in the booth out the front that you see in every Beverly Hills cop movie, where you just got to give him a fucking fruit basket to distract him. Get one of them on the fucking payroll. <laughs> Anyway, Brad, what did you think of this episode? Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty much a lot of bullshit. It was pretty sad that you know they hyped up Court of Hours at the end of last season, and then they sort of teased us a little bit with uh, first part of, oh, sorry, first episode of season three, and then this they just went, yep, yeah, let's just wrap that one up and save it for the end of the season or something, and I don't know. And then there was just a lot of just little bullshit things that were just were crap, like yeah. Penguin letting fish go because she's like, oh, well, I love you and I created you. And he just starts crying and lets her go like, after all that. For fuck's sake. I was, uh, I was ready for um, Penguin to say, like, or, or Fishman to be like, I'm your mother now. <laughs> I was literally, 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 my brain was like, oh, fuck, he's just going to idolise her as a mother and we're going to have another fucking penguin hobbling around with a fucking umbrella. You ready for the part that I that I didn't understand in this whole episode? Poison Ivy decides she loves plants so much that she kills a guy by using a plant as a weapon and then lets it die by proxy. Uh, I forgot about that. that Fucking that's that's cringe. literally by bat, like Batman being like, "Yeah, man, I don't use guns." Said I don't use guns. Um. Well, I fucking hated is the whole 
sorry, Jim, not Batman. This should, I forgot to, that Jim is Batman. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty yeah, sure in this episode you didn't know something unless it was told to you like at least three or four times. Like, how, I'm Poison how, Ivy. No, no, no. Just no, so no, you know, how, how I'm Ivy. Get, yeah, but how did Ivy get older? Like, I don't I don't understand. Like, somehow I'm, she just magically... I wish, no. some, I wish three or four, five, six, nine times in this episode somebody told me I how changed, she got older. No, I just she, don't understand. She changed. Understand. She changed. Yeah, on the, inside, on, on the inside, on the inside, on the inside, on the inside as well. Yeah, outside, on the like. outside, but she changed on the inside as well. Just so you know. Yeah, but she loves plants. That's why I'm going to hit you over the head with one and destroy the plant. Well done, fucking retard. Yeah. Did anybody else yeah. think that dude was totally going to try to rape her? I'm really oh, sure yeah. they didn't go there. I'm really mm -hmm. shocked. Also, um. I really like the fact that Poison Ivy pretty much had the killing joke birth where she washes up on shore and is like, oh, oh, I'm different now, I'm crazy. Also, it's really great. I, I, I really enjoy the fact that Harley Quinn is now older than the Joker. They're doing a great job with, uh, with uh, Barbara. Barbara Quinn. And I also like the I'm gonna punch you in the face, bitch! <laughs> Is this your new girlfriend, Jim? <laughs> I'm crazy. No, she was, she was found safe. She was a little simple again. Um, I, I also like the... the <laughs> I also like the, uh, the cops that set up the perimeter. Like, oh, the the Jim just sneaks past immediately. Like, you all did. The perimeter that's like... Six, seven well, cops wide. And also, hang on, let, that whole scene of like um, the mob that have just randomly rocked up within seconds of Penguin going, shit, something's going down with fish. I'll just rock up with a mob. And then the mob just like pushes past the place. It's like, not even, a, not even a gun gets shot off. I mean, this is supposedly in America where like <laughs> everyone, exactly every right. fucking, every cop's gun goes off. Regardless of what's happening, no, the gun's just fucking well, you, missed the, you missed the five seconds beforehand where the whole crowd came rolling in with We're not gonna take it! Like, blasted behind them. And some black guy rolled in front like Wayne and they shot him. They were like, what the fuck? And all the cops were like, oh shit, put your guns away. Just let them do whatever they want. Let them, let them just kill people. They can just kill monsters even though they're actually fucking people. They just kill them and we're cops. We'll just like stand around and warm ourselves at the bonfire. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. And, uh, and then the shooting inside the warehouse that everyone... Everyone is fucking bulletproof. Like everyone is fucking bulletproof. That is not a cop. Yeah. The other thing that shoot me off about that whole scene out the front of um, the thing at the end with all the cops and all the the mo angry mob and everything like that was before they got there. And Jim's talking to um, Barnes and he's like, "You need to tell me where where they're keeping uh, Strange so I can go help him." He's like. No, no, I can't tell you, but I'll take you there. And then the minute they get there, he's like, you're not going inside. Well, I fucking take you. You're not a cop. I, I, I need somebody who's not a cop to come in here. I got a walking stick. Yeah, no cops within four miles. Why is Bond sweat so much? That motherfucker sweats. Sweet. It's such a big secret where Strange is. Yeah, as soon as they get there, the press fucking rocks up, and then not long after, the mob rocks oh. up. I guess it's hard work just being fat. Shit at your job. I guess he's got a lot of stress since Jim left. I mean, all the police force has just gone now. They can't even catch people. Jim's just busy bounty hunting. Yeah, they, they went from, like, having indisposable rookies to go, oh, shit, we burnt through them all in the first two seasons. We've only got 12 cops left. Uh, don't shoot anyone, dudes. Uh, don't even pull out your guns. In fact, whatever happens, just let it happen because uh, you're now irreplaceable. I'm really... I'm also really tired of... Um I'm really tired of this fucking ridiculous bullshit where they'll just drop a storyline. Like, for instance, Penguin's like, I'll give you a million dollars to deliver fish to me. He delivered fish to you, where's his million dollars? Oh, fuck that. Yeah. And also, I think that's a good thing because, see, Jim will need a million dollars in order to make the gym suit, uh, the gym mobile, the gym hmm. cave, gym manor. Cycle. Yeah, I mean, he's going to need Fire his side. Yeah, he's, he's going to need his sidekick, like Jobbin. Um, <laughs> you know, it's going to be it's going to be complex. That's the sway with this whole show is Jim becomes Batman. Yeah. And uh, yeah, um, they're going to 
write this storyline from this episode off anyway because now that Bruce knows there's a clone of him, he's going to use that clone to turn against the Court of Owls and so the, the Court of Owls kills the clone and not Bruce. Um, and, or, or, or they're going to or they're going to take what they think is Bruce and brainwash him and make him Talon and then think that they've won but Bruce is still in in the uh, in the Wayne Manor and then they go like oh, alright well we'll train this Bruce to be better than that Bruce so we'll take over Wayne Enterprises by using this Talon dude no they've already got Talon haven't they? he'll die Alfred will kill him no sorry Jim no. will kill him Jim will kill him Jim will kill that one he's too old to be Talon when Batman's around yeah Yeah, that 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 talent, that that clone of Bruce is dead by the end of the season. Yeah, well, he'll have some sort of ability which will kill him, like the fish is going. Down. No, no, it'll be it'll be related. It'll be related. No, it'll be Bruce. It'll, Bruce, will, Bruce will kill him. No, 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 because she has to use, she has to give up her body energy to convince people, whereas the rest of them are just doing shit. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I agree with you. Quick, methy Quicksilver, the like white haired kid who just <laughs> erupted in a cloud of crystal meth smoke whenever he moved was the worst example of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and what the fuck is with the uh, Mortal Kombat bitch? Who the fuck is she? Like, cool. Uh, you chick that likes yeah, fucking Jane. bondage. It was female yeah. Bane, Jane. Yeah. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're coming from the back. Oh no. I have run out of tip tabs. We have a problem. No, sisters, they expect one of us in the warehouse. What happens when Jane gets on a period? Oh, she's gonna get on a period. It would be very painful <laughs> for you. They, do, they still have GST on sanitary products. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... Also, Leslie's back, so I guess... Oh, fuck! I guess Artificial Jim. Uh, I guess, oh, I guess and it was then, a root and boot, or what? And, 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 like, Jim gets a new girlfriend every season? It's oh, like, oh, fuck that, yeah, I know, that was... But they have so much tension. He has, he has, he has more women than Bond at this point. Matt made a really good point off air. I'm going to call it out on air just so you can see what a piece of shit he is in real life. People at home. Um, Matt's given it one year before Marina Baccarin and, uh, <laughs> what's his name? Ben, ben McKenzie. McKenzie. <laughs> ben McKenzie at Dunzo. <laughs> Anybody else want to get on this over under? Uh, I'm giving it four years. It's yeah, two years. Give two years. Wayne, you want a piece? I'll say three. <laughs> That's it. One, One two, three, three, three four. four. Cool. <laughs> yeah. well, well, there the relationship and their child, I believe, as well, was all based on fucking cheating, anyway. So. Yeah. Uh, Leslie Tompkins is back, and she's yeah. gonna be all like. Jim, you don't want to be with the reporter or with the blonde bitch. You want to be with me. Here's my hope that Alfred's all like, yeah, how about you want a bit of me crumpet? No, but then what will happen... What's a pancakes? No, but What's then... a pancakes, Master Leslie? No, but then Leslie Thompson will get jealous and, and get in a wedding dress and then throw herself out of a chapel hall. No, she'll team up with Barbara and Valerie and they'll become like the birds of prey. Birds of gay. <laughs> Cause they're lesbians. Oh! <laughs> but seriously, no, nah, that probably will happen, Brayden. And Butch, what, 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 what does Butch do now? He why just wipe Butch... around like a mopey yeah, motherfucker. If you want to blow up that warehouse, why didn't you bring Butch's Butch and Penguin hand? Oh, why didn't you, you to bring the fucking Butch that building? Penguin and, and Butch, Butch that building. That's what I'm saying. He's rocket launching hand. Penguin and Butch that building to the ground. Just boom. You're welcome, city. Water off into the sunset. Ba-duh, ba-duh, ba-duh. 
<laughs> oh, this show is fucking taking an arrow turn for the worst. An arrow turn? Yeah. It is taking an arrow turn, you're not wrong. Fuck the original source material. Fuck everything else. And if you're Jim, fuck all the women fuck on all the, the show. Yeah, fuck all the storylines too, because fuck them. Because fuck them, that's why. Hang on, I got an idea. I got an idea for the show, right? What if... What if... Jim Gordon became, like, cop again and was commissioner in, like, one episode? Oh, wait, I got another one. I got another one. I got another one. Got another one. What if, like, Alfred Wright... He got all, like, possessive and passive-aggressive about protecting Bruce in one episode, but then the next episode he's like, right, well, we better teach you self-defense, and the next episode he's like, you better never fucking leave this house! But we've got to we've got to teach him how to dance now, because now the master should be able to guide a, a young lass. Yeah, what the fuck the was pro- that? I, I thought he was going to like. I thought he was going to pay off like a fucking uh, Mr. Miyagi thing, where he's going to teach him how to dance, and a dude was going to break in, and Bruce was going to be like, whoop, 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 and like dance around him and kick the shit out, and be like, wow, thanks, Alfred. Alfred, be like, you fucking lucky mate. You want to go get some pancakes now? Yeah, I thought it was like a game of Bruce season, season one game of Bruce. I teach one of the young girls how to fight. They said dancing lessons, but she was teach, he was teaching her how to uh, fight with a sword. Yeah. So I'm thinking, oh, yeah, lessons, they'll be fighting. No, they were talking about actual dancing. It's not even got to be him that's teaching her. He's got to hire a dancer. And what was the, like, what was the, what, the, for what? Here's, here's a subtle hit for you. The chick Bruce wants to bang is the little, the little feline one who keeps busting in through the windows you keep leaving open. Wait, that Selena Kyle is, is Bruce's love? Hey, I'll probably bang Poison Ivy. Oh my god, in before Jim bangs Poison Ivy. <laughs> no. Easy. <laughs> I don't, I, I, no, I don't see that. Uh, I, hang on, I've got one for you. Get ready on the music button. <laughs> well, Jim, who hasn't he got whip yet? Bullock. Bullock? That's it. Mooney? No, no, Bullock, just leave it. Bullock. No, he, oh, he, he, kissed, he, he kissed Mooney in the first season. I yeah. Yeah, Jim, Jim, I think well, Jim... He, would, he, he, would he, kiss, he wouldn't kiss Barbara again, though. He, he didn't want none of that. Yeah, because... I mean, look, let's face it, okay? Nobody wants the awkward boner, and, and you'd get one <laughs> off because of her. That, that bitch is, like, hot and crazy, right? So, you know, you know for a fact that, like, she, <laughs> she, she's, she's doing something. She's, she's doing... In that bedroom, she's doing something. And one, one, like... Crazy is like a Pringles can. Once you pop, you can't stop. <gasps> that explains the relationship we know. So yeah, uh, <laughs> anybody got any other thoughts before we hand out the awards on this one? Nah, this needs to take a serious turn around. Yeah, it's got like some now. IGS happening. They need to find a direction and stick to it because there's there's... No, there's nothing driving the plot forward. There's just little. What are you talking about? Off. Bruce becomes Batman one day, and Jim Gordon's the greatest cop of all time. Yeah, I and mean, Oswald he, he becomes was... a politician. Yeah, what the fuck? Why oh. does everybody trust Oswald? Two episodes ago, they were like, "Burn this hook-nosed fucker! He ate his family!" And now they're like, "Yeah, listen to him. He has hair that's jagged." Da derp, da derp, da derp. Fucking, I'm over Penguin at the moment. He's not even interesting anymore. Where's Riddler been? What's up with that? He's in prison. Yeah, I know. We saw him him solve a box in two seconds in the last episode. Aside from that, he's just smoke bomb the fuck out. Mm. Guess we gotta make space for Jim to have sex with these fucking random bitches who are gonna gonna die horrifically then inspire their niece to become Vicky Vale prize winning reporter. In before that happens too. Alright, fuck it. Yeah. He's going to be Dickie Bale's dad. Wait, I reckon he is, but... But the funny is, she's blonde. Mum's mm. Chinese or Vietnamese or whatever she is. So who's the dad? Who's the blonde? Who was the blonde dad? She Probably that dude, soon. That, <laughs> du- that dude from Court of Owls. He's the only blonde guy we've seen. In and out before anyone can see him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, 
Fuck it, let, let's put a pin in this one. Have you got... Please. Have you got a Guggenheim? <coughs> Me, everyone. Everyone. Wayne's not playing. Yeah, I got two. I'm giving out two. Fuck the rules. Uh, one to Penguin for letting fish go. Actually, I'm giving out three. One to Penguin for giving out so they can get blurred out. For letting fish go. One to fish because just fuck off. <laughs> And the last one to Bards for just the shit thing going, nah, I can't tell you where Strange is, but I'll take you there, but when we get there, don't fucking do anything. Yeah, that's valid. I'm giving mine to Jim Gordon, because fuck Jim Gordon. Or if you're Valerie Vale, I guess you already did. <laughs> oh, Barbara? Ah! That was about female in, uh, Goblin. Matt, what do you got? It's really hard to give out just one Guggenheim um, without going to default, and that is fuck this episode. Yeah, the writers. Yeah. Have you got a Cranston? No. Not one. Not even Alfred, because he can't shut that fucking window. Well, I still don't get why he handed Bruce a knife and then pulled out a gun. Just in case I run out of bullets, just shank him, yeah? Wouldn't you give the kid a gun and him the knife, considering... Well, conversely, the I'm pretty sure they have more than one fucking gun. Are you sure? They can't, they can't afford bars, so, like... <laughs> or, 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 or a decent <laughs> lock or a perimeter or security, so you, they might only have one gun. They might only have, like, 12 bullets, too. Well, bullets are yeah. expensive. Wayne, you yeah, got a... No Cranston's. No Cranston's. Wayne, you got a Cranston? I can, my question will be the bloody windows. They have to be, because they're the only things that make sense in that movie. In that show, sorry. How do they make sense? They're always, they're always fucking open. Open. Exactly, that's why they make sense. I don't think anyone's there to open or shut them. They're just going, you're not stuck there. I think he's just got brain aids from oh, having right. fucking watching this Jesus show. Jesus Christ, that was the biggest stretch I've ever heard. It's like a fucking stroke. From it's stretching more than a yoga class right now. <laughs> Uh, that's the only, that's the only prop I can. Oh, let it go, wait, let yeah, it go. It's it. fine. None, none of us, none of us believe you, but just oh. let it go. Be like, be like <laughs> Brain's favorite song. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I think I'm gonna have to give my Cranston to. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but see, that's literally <laughs> nobody. Yeah. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down. Four down. You are so disappointing on so many levels. Five down. Yeah, three down. Yeah, I'll give it three, four, five, ten, whatever. Alright. Alright, well let's uh, let's move on to some other some other news. Let's get some frivolity out of the way before we wrap the show up. For those of you not uh, not good enough to be friends with me on social media, that's most of you, let's face it, I'm a very exclusive an important man. I am, uh, after all, still a champ. And uh, there was a conversation that took place on uh, on Facebook uh, this week between the members of the Justice League, and I feel it's time to spill it over here right now and make this a public thing. So, gentlemen, Amy Adams, Terry Hatcher, <laughs> or Margot Kidder. Now, we talk about the best Lois Lane. Where this came from? Earlier this week, Wayne, in fact, tagged us all in a picture that, you know, questioned if you were Superman for a day, what would you do? And my answer was that I would kill, and by the way, it was the Man of Steel Superman, my answer was I would kill Jesse Eisenberg, and then I realised, wait a minute, going about that all wrong, I can do that anyway, I'm going straight for Amy Adams. This led to a whole topic of conversation about who the uh, the best looking and the, the overall um, moral compass of what makes a good Lois, both inside and out, and uh, we ultimately were men. Uh, we had some females there, that's why this conversation was okay. It became about who was most bangable. And uh, I still maintain it's Amy Adams. So, gentlemen, I'm going to open the forum up right now. Let's have an open forum conversation topic about your favourite Lois Lane and why. Because I understand I understand here that I'm actually in, in the fucking rarity in saying that it's Amy Adams. Um... So I think we've actually we've covered this one before with a, uh, a what was it, a Bane Mary kill. Oh yeah, yeah, we've, yeah. We've done, we've done, I'm, I'm talking going beyond Bang Mary Kill now. 
You don't even have that option. I actually... You just get one. I actually think Amy Adams is stepping up to the plate as Lois Lane. I really do believe her character um, as Lois Lane. Yeah, I believe her character too. Bang it from behind. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to straight out say that the worst is Margot Kidder. I cannot fucking stand Margot Kidder. <laughs> that bitch is crazy though. Yeah. She crazy said she, Oh man, she put out a whole thing about how she got abducted by an alien and all sorts of shit. Then she got found like running naked in a field. Some LSD level shit. Yeah. LSD. LSD makes you want to lick Co- a tree. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I think I'm on the Amy Adams train there as well. Who I did wouldn't quite be? enjoy her in, uh, in Superman vs. Batman, particularly the extended <laughs> cut. The Amy, Amy Adams banger Amy Adams. I, uh, just before we let Wayne give his answer, I do, I do want to point out, though, that, uh, 90s Terry Hatcher, that's still some excellent vintage, the problem is that over time, unlike, let's just say, let's just say, Wayne, with Wayne, black don't crack, unfortunately, Terry Hatcher's white. Wayne, what do you got? Yeah, she left the wine too long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's vinegar. Yeah, it's vinegar. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, jeez. Alright, Margot Kidder. Think about this. Here we go. Hey, can I just interject to go, strap yourself in, folks. He's going to have a fucking list of bullet points on this. Wayne is disgustingly dirty. Let's go. Let's go. No, I'm actually going to be very clean. Let's go, perverted Wayne. Here we go. I'll sort of of reach over and just slap you. I'm in a different country, mate. (laughs) I don't want that way. What do you think? This is a green screen? Fuck. Whoa! Jesus! There's a hair that just turned up in fucking France! I'm investigating that when we are. Sponges in here? spies in this place. I need to move to a new location. <laughs> Stat. Wayne, Wayne, you're about to get converted. Get on with it, sons. Strap your flesh rocket on. <laughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, so... Hello, Wayne Bucket. Alright, Margot. Mar- Mar- Gotta think about the 70s and 80s. Oh, it's another 80s thing. Well, it's an 80s thing. Yeah, I know. For fuck's sake. What, well, uh, the 80s wasn't good enough because you didn't see her enough, or...? No, I'd have too much bush for what? <laughs> <laughs> well, not enough, so you couldn't hide in it. No, that was the 70s. The 70s had, the 70s had like, the perfect amount of... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's got, com- too much. he's got to complain about it because there was not enough for him to hide his whole body in. Well, to be fair, as people do come from the bush... I guess we all do it one way or another. <laughs> Seventy in the eighties. All right, so Margot Kidder. Oh, whatever she was on, she was on big time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. She drank too much of the Kool Aid. But I mean, you you watch Superman, and that's what it all that's what it was all about. Because everyone was just going too fast, too too much. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even touch it. I wouldn't even touch it with my. I want to watch movies the way you watch movies, man. Superman, so, we're all sitting there like, yeah, I hope Justice and Wayne's just like, these fuckers are on some meth right here. Bloody hell. Are we kidding you? Superman 3 was the one with the cocaine slides from Richard Pryor. Not Superman 1 yeah. 2. She wasn't in Superman 3. That's probably why. They had to switch the coke budget from Margot Kidder to Richard Pryor. <laughs> it was so too much, so they didn't continue. have enough for so, it. So, so Margot Kidder was a part of the excessive 80s where they are all on too much. Well, she was. She was excessively... <laughs> so it was just... Mostly... Terry Hatcher... Um... I mean, she was hot, yeah. You can tell she was hot. Yeah. You can't... Yes, I can tell, but with my eyes, Wayne, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, she was made for TV. She was not made for, for movie. She wasn't. Okay, so... But, yeah, so then, I, but... Uh, yeah, I'll... I'll I so is Amy Adams made for movies? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Those fun bags? What? Oh. Her, fun ba- her fun bags are smaller than Terry Hatches. Yeah, but I'm talking about... They're more coming well. up, too. I'm talking about Do- bags, so they're, they're fun bags. <laughs> Jesus. I don't... I just don't know what to say to this right now. <laughs> What, uh, Brayden, have you got anything you could do? 